Hello, and welcome back to Operation Clean Up Drive, part three of three, where your digital learning coach, Amy, is here with Keep Indiana Learning to help you, guide you through cleaning up your drive or making it personalized so that you can have not only a visually pleasing Google Drive, but one that works smarter for you. In the first two videos, we talked about creating folders and subfolders. And here we've also talked about color coding as well as using icons or emojis while naming folders just to make those folders and subfolders pop. On the left side of your Google Drive, that's where we're going to spend time today. At the top, if you click up here where it says plus sign new, once again, that's that place where you can add folders, you can upload files, upload uh, folders. You may also create a clean, brand new Google Doc sheet, slide, form, and more straight from that plus sign. This little triangle to the left of where it says My Drive, if you like to have the list of your folders visible, you can click there to see them. You can keep clicking to dive down deeper into each folder if needed. Your Share With Me section, that's going to be your area where all of the items or folders that others have shared with this Google account will appear. Think of it as a feed, a stream. It is not something that you can clean up, but it is a really great place, a pool or a pond, if you will, of items that others have shared with you. In your recent section, that's going to be different from your quick access. Quick access is just going to give you the quick four or maybe five items across the top of your screen. Recent is going to be organized by the items that you've used this past week, this past month, this past year, and so forth. Here in Starred, I want you to think about this as a bookmark or a flag, just a way to earmark an item that you are currently using frequently. If I go back in my drive, I'll show you. Um, how about we go ahead and talk about the Starred item with, there we go, we'll right click it, add to Starred. And now you'll see I'm not physically moving it. I'm just flagging or bookmarking or earmarking it so that it appears in both areas. It's just a quicker way to access this item. It didn't really move. Here in the trash, this is that oh so lovely area where we can truly exhale with our Operation Cleanup Drive and find the items that we are no longer using, those ones that are no longer serving us. At the end of the day, if you do need to find items in your drive, you can use this fantastic search in Drive feature. You can set different filters for the search to help you find that item. Maybe you know it's a PDF or a photo or a doc that you're looking for. Maybe you want to get a little bit more specific. This little triangle here on the right side can help you. Oh, if you know the type of file it is, you can choose that. Maybe you don't know that. Maybe you know the person that shared it with you and that's all you can remember. Then just type that. Maybe you remember the location of where it is. Right now, I just have it set to anywhere. Maybe you can't remember what type or the owner. You're not really sure where it is, but boy, you remember the date that it was created. You could put in that information here. And maybe you just remember a little bit of information like the owner and the date it was created or the type and it has the words in the file. Or maybe you can't remember much about it, but you just remember that it was shared with your co-teacher. Once you put in those parameters, 
then a search will work for you. And you'll be able to see on your screen the Google items or the items that are stored in your drive. They will appear and they will be there to help you hopefully find the item that you've been looking for. I encourage you to continue to find new and amazing ways to make your drive work best for you. Maybe it's folders or subfolders. Maybe it's color coding them. Maybe it's using emojis or icons. Whatever it is that you are doing, I encourage you to do it and to do it well. Enjoy and thank you for spending this time with us.